Bigger and better fireworks are now legal to sell in Pennsylvania, but some fireworks companies claim the new law is sending their profits up in smoke. The law includes a 12% tax on top of the regular sales tax. People will look elsewhere to try to find cheaper fireworks. John Shumway explains new at 6. With each tick of the calendar, the booming fireworks, once the quest of driving to Ohio, gets closer and closer to home. And with them will come a total sales tax of 19%. Wow. It doesn't surprise me if they're going to throw an extra tax on it. Not at all. And it didn't surprise the fireworks industry either. But Daniel Purd with Phantom Fireworks says the industry thinks the legislature shot a little too high with a 12% fireworks tax. Everything is dependent on the 4th of July. So an additional 12% tax on something that most people buy once a year we thought was you know, we just thought it was punitive on a thousand dollars in fireworks that's an extra hundred and twenty dollars in pennsylvania i'll drive to ohio maybe hit a diner get them for cheap i would think there's quite a few people that will i don't think there's any question of that i mean that's far like it's not really far but it's like do you really want to drive all the way that way to get them or do you just want to stay here and just get them? But it's not just the tax that prompted the fireworks leaders to file suit against the legislature. For Phantom to renovate this old restaurant and open shop on McKnight Road, there are extensive safety requirements. But the legislature is letting tent operations sell the same product. No fire protection. They have no walls for containment. They have no sprinkler system. They have no smoke alarms. You know, they... they the majority of these things are operating out of, of a cigar box. With no system to make sure the proper tax is going into that cigar box. The lawsuit threatens to have the entire tax code thrown out as unconstitutional. And that goes way beyond fireworks and has the legislature's attention. So changes are being discussed to resolve the issues in the suit. That was John Shumway reporting this lawsuit likely won't be resolved before the 4th of July.